Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to review and also quick unbox this beautiful Minix box and also a air mouse remote. It is modeled Neo U22XJ and also the remote is modeled Neo A3. Now this box is phenomenal. Minix company put together a very expensive chipset in this and also I want to mention that it comes with OS 9 it has a 4 gigabyte of DDR4 RAM it also have 32 gigabyte of 5.1 internal storage the wireless connectivity with this is 2.4 and 5G but it is Mio Mimo dual band Wi-Fi yes so it's dedicated Wi-Fi Plus, it comes with a gigabit LAN, so you will take advantage of that. And I want to mention that this will give you 4K and 60 Hertz once you hook it up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Make sure you share this with your friends and family and click the click the notification icon so that we will be notified once we have a new video out. Click the like button. It really motivates us to make these type of videos quickly for you. And if you have a question, drop them at the bottom of the video. We love to help you out ASAP. All right, so you can see that the box is very nicely designed. It has the picture in the front and also on the sides. It gives you a lot of information and then in the back, more info. So this way you know what you're going to purchase. Now, that's not the only thing. So here's the Neo U22 XJ chipset box, which is 4K and it is the H265 and it is HDR. As always, they really package it nicely. This always stands up so you can see the manual is there and then the box itself is sitting inside of And they have their name written really nicely. Also tell you, thank you for supporting Minix and also we hope you enjoy and the model numbers there. So if you needed information, you can directly go to their website. And also if you want to join their forums, very, very useful, go here. And it also says that if you need some support, you can directly ask them via email. And yes, they are very nice and supportive. And they're all also going to answer your support questions very easily and very quickly. So I'm just going to take the components out. Here are the components. It comes with a user manual that has a lot of information inside. It also comes with an IR remote, which is really nicely designed. It's very good and how you're going to be able to hold it. And also it's very reachable with just one hand on what buttons to press. Remember, this is an Android box. You really need to have a air mouse remote, which they included in this package that I got comes with a really nice power adapter. Now I have to mention that this part will go to the box itself. This is five volt, three amps. And you can see that the header part of it is not attached because this is made for a universal head. Now anywhere that you order, you're going to get these with it, which is perfect. Now we are able to just go through, hook it up, and here you go, now it became good for Canada and United States. Now, if you want to change it, you just have to hold it down, bring it up, and you can change it, the head part of it. So this way, you will be able to use Europe. And then when you take it out, you can also hook up the second part of it, which is really nicely designed. And now you will be able to hook this up to Asia. So it's very easy to change these very quickly. And make sure you keep the other parts so this way when you go around the world you can take your Minix box with you and you will be able to use it easily. It also comes with an OTG cable which one side is USB 2.0 the other side is USB type C. So this way you will be able to do some software update if it ever required. So they also packaging it with this. It also comes with a HDMI cable. It doesn't have much markings on it. It does come with a little antenna, which you can be able to turn around for about 180 degrees. But let's just open up the box and then we're going to hook this up to show you how this really functions. So here is the actual box. It's sitting inside of a nice little plastic. And once you take it out, this is how it looks. You can see that it is really nicely designed. It has their name right on the top of it and then when you go to the front remember this is not a button don't push it you can break it yes this part 
So this is for the IR sensor. And there's the little LED light. So you will be able to see if your box is on or off. I will show you in a few seconds. Now, when we flip it on one side, you have all the buttons that you really required is the power button. You can feel it and even also you can hear it that when you're clicking on it, how it really functions. Also you see the USB 3.0s, there's three of them. And then you have the TF card reader, so which can read up to 128 gigabyte. And then on top of that, you also have the OTG connection. Now this OTG is USB type C, which is awesome. Now going on the other side of it, you do have one headset jack, so you can connect your headset to this. Also, you have the HDMI connection. You do have the SPDIF connection, or we call it optical audio. This we can connect it to your stereo system. Then you do have the LAN connection on this, which is a gigabit. And then you have the 5 volt DC connection. Now, when you flip it on the other side, as you're going to be able to see a little hole, this is for resetting. And then you do have the part so you can connect your antenna, in which I am just going to demonstrate right now on how fast you will be able to connect it and once that is also done just flip it up and that is it now going on the other side of it there is a little lock button just like their computer system have so you can lock it up so nobody can use or abuse your box going on the bottom part of it you do have four little legs so you can stand up when you put it on a flat surface so it's not going to be able to move that much but you can see that it has the Android logo right in the bottom. You do have a little sticker so you can go to the Minix form by just scanning this through your computer or through your phone. In the bottom part of it, you do have the Minix name written really nicely. You do have the actual serial number and also the MAC address is in the bottom. Now, when you place it on the ground, it looks beautiful. So let's go through and show you exactly what's included in this. Now, before we connect this, I want to mention that we also received a Air Mouse remote, which is modeled new A3. It is voice search again, backlit, it's beautiful. So let's unbox it. The other part of this is the remote comes with a user manual and you can see that it is written really nicely, has all the pictures of the front and the back and also each button, what it means for the layout itself. Now when you go here, it talks about the pages. This is the Minix Neo A3. This is how it really looks. Yes, it's beautiful. The way that they have put everything together. Now this is backlit, we will show you in a few seconds. But let's go through and show you what it really includes. So on the front, you have your sensors on the top. This is for the IR sensor. And again, this is an RF also. Here's the mic that when you're going to be able to talk. Now flip it in the back, you have two sections where you're going to open. So this is the dongle that is part of it. If you miss this dongle, your remote would not work. So this is what you really need. And again, it's bigger than the other brands. We will put it aside. And then also in the other side of it, we will open. And this is where you're going to be able to place the second battery. So put the first battery and then the second one. And when you flip it, so here you go. When you press any button, it comes on. This is how phenomenal it will really look. Now, that's not the only thing. When you flip it in the back and you press any button, now once this is flipped over, you will see this too. And let's just put the back on. There you go. And this is how it really looks. So now you will be able to see it in a really pitch dark of what buttons you're going to be able to press. And yes, the function and also the cap key also going to be able to lit up as we are showing you right now. So this way you know exactly what is on in order for you to press the button. All right, so it's time for us to connect the box itself. So let's connect the HDMI wire first, and then we will connect the power. And then we will flip it on the side. You have to press the power button one time, and you will see that the little blue light comes on. Now we should get picture on the screen, so let's go there. So when the box turns on, it has a really nice calm logo in the front before it goes into the main screen. And the first screen you will get is this. It's a really nice UI that they have put together, and this is their main UI that you're always going to see and we've seen before. Now there are a few little things that really stands out in the start. First thing is their name is written really big in the bottom right hand side. And also they have the status bar on the top, which in a lot of cases we do not really need, but a lot of people request it. And also we have this status bar in the bottom. 
that you will be not only going to see one button but a lot of them so this is like a going back to home you can go back you can stop a video and more is all going to be here so the best part is that you can hide it by just pressing one button another thing that really stands out in this is when you press home you will be presented with two launchers now one launcher is this which is their metro launcher and then the second launcher is the actual google launcher that way you will be able to see it like how your phones are going to see or nova launcher look alike that is the default launcher for android so they have two launchers but this is one of my favorites so you can go inside of each one of these and yes you can add a app inside of it so in this case i will be adding something like youtube and netflix and i can get out and it just stays there now these are mostly all folders so you can add more apps in it and if you want to see all apps together just go here and you will be able to see it all here i gotta mention that when i got it something like youtube was not part of it also aptoid was not part of it disney plus is not part of it netflix is not there Cody is not there so these are the ones that I installed separately so this was really bare bone but again it makes sense why so that way you will learn a little more from it so let's go through and we will tell you how it's done so here's all task killers we will click on it and this is how you're going to be able to kill all the apps that are in a background I really like it because they just kept it as same in some companies did it change it so you can press either homes a bunch of times or menu a bunch of times in order to kill all the apps in the background and they loaded another app on top in order to make it work this is just part of the app itself so it's kind of cool just press one button and it will just clear everything here is settings when you go to it all the settings will be showing on a side another good thing that they have is minix settings so yes now you will be able to go in and fix your resolution Next part is audio output. This is where you will be able to use SPDIF or we call it optical audio. This is where you're going to be able to go through to set that up or you want to set this up directly to your TV. You don't have to change anything. And another thing is DTS sound. These are really good features if you have a projector. Now going under backlit, you can make it 100%. So this way it's very, very bright. But if you want to make it about 90% as they had it, that's good enough we will leave it as that and we will get out of that now they have also set up something new that I really like is that when you go in into your device preferences inside of your settings you have system root you can root it until you turn it off then it's not rooted that's not only thing it also have the screen rotation now this is really good if you want to use this inside of your business for your digital signage. You want to put an add-on or you want to put your menus on. This will really help you out because it rotates and you can set it up all inside of this system itself. You do not have to get any kind of extra apps. Another good thing that I really like is this system bar. You can turn it on so it always shows up in the bottom or you can also minimize it. All right, so going next is going to be system update. Now, I want to mention that I received this box almost two weeks ago and we already processed some of the video and we were almost done to release the video and we saw this update. So what we did is comparison before update and after. So you can see right now the update is not that big and we went through it all done, update system, everything went through. And the first thing that we launched was Antutu. So the first thing that we saw was with the old system or with the old firmware, we received 99,320. But now when the update went through, the Antutu benchmark went up. It went to 11,95,28. Yes, it is so good now. Now the next thing that we have also tested was the Geekbench. Now under Geekbench, going into history, you can see that we have processed it before and then we processed it now. So with the older software, uh, we received for the single core 726 and for the multi-core, we had 1,841. Now after the update happened and we tested it again, it became phenomenal. The single core was 1,213 and the multi-core went to 3368 this is really good for this box by the way the next thing we have done is going into YouTube app so we try to search for a 4k video mm -hmm. so let's play this one 
Now I have to mention by default, YouTube right now is pushing 720p because of the bandwidth. And a lot of people are home, so they're using internet, so it's always setting up under 720p. But because we played this a few seconds ago, you can see that the maximum you can go is 4K or 2160p. And the picture is vibrant and there's no stop to it. The next thing is Netflix. Now we have already tested some different places. So let's go through and the first thing we have done is 2G network. And you can see that the maximum I got down was 45.3. My maximum upload rate was 15.9. But now for the second time when I tried, I got 44.5 and my upload went up a little bit to 21.5, which is not bad. Now going on to 5G network, which is the Wi-Fi I'm talking about. And you can see that it is the 5G. And now when we got maximum was 270, my upload rate went up to 27.5. So it's almost perfect. Now when we hooked up the wire, because this box is a gigabit LAN to it, we got 640 for the download and the best one that I got was 686 megabit upload rate was 14.7 megabit per second. This was really good numbers that we got out of this box again. All right, so we will get out of that too. Now playing video game with this is a breeze. You can install the games either from Google Play Store or if you have a external drive and you want to bring in some emulators, this will do the job phenomenal for you. As you can see, it's just going through very nicely. Now going through, we try to play a few videos. The first one was our regular 1080p video. And when we click on it, this is how nice it is that it plays. I'm just gonna bring up the voice. So this way you guys know exactly how it sounds. And you can see that there's no chop it, chop into it. And once we press the stop and we go into the second one, which will be the 4K video, that one we have. So I'm just gonna play this one to see exactly how it's gonna show up. And yes, this is Niagara Falls. It is a little bit old video, but I want to mention that this is 10 bits. It plays it perfectly for you. And you can see that there's no blockage or there's no stop. Or you can see that there's no little breaks on any part of the screen. It's very nicely done, very smooth, and it's playing it nicely again. So this is 4K on the box. Now you're on the main screen and you want to press that mic button let's see how that functions we have to go into the search bar and click on it and we have to say allow if it's the first time and now it can listen to you as you can see right now it types whatever i say so that's how easy it is to process this part and it will do the search for you now it does not work if you want to open an app or close an app because this is not set up yet i am sure that in the future you will be able to figure that out I will be placing a link where you can order this box and also the remote from, except that all of the other information will be available at the bottom of this video. I hope you guys like our video. If you do like it, click the click the like button, subscribe button on the top, comment in the bottom. Always remember to visit our own website, which is xctext.info. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and other social networking places. And thank you.